Hey everyone, just want to clear up some incorrect information again because that's what we've got to do. We don't want to have everybody uneducated, miseducated. Outside air temperature 13 degrees. Somebody said the idle up doesn't work unless the temperature's under five, once it's, you know, five, uh, five degrees. Only works when it's under five degrees. So let's see what happens. What do you want to look at, the button or the... So when I read that, I knew it was incorrect. But there's no point re replying and having an argument. That's why I do videos, people. All the evidence is in the videos. It keeps it simple. I'll press the button again. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's no foot on the accelerator revving up. Right, there it is. The idle up buttons in different places on different cars. You don't need to use it in Australia, so just forget about it. But if you're wondering why your engine's revving up a bit, it could be that button's pressed. It could be your air conditioning's turned on. Let's do the air conditioning thing, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn the air con on now, right? You ready? Didn't make any difference because it's already probably idling high because we've got a cold engine. I'll turn it off again. No, it didn't make any difference. So when the engine's cold, you'll see the difference. These engines idle or should idle at 700 RPM once they're up to full operating temperature. There's some information for you. It's a butter boom, butter bing. I'll press the air con again. No difference, okay? Because it's already idled up. It's already a bit over 800 RPM. Now, we've still got temperatures outside. Well, this one says 12 now, okay? Now, I'm standing out here going, now, it's actually wrong because I've just given the engine a wash down. It's feeling a bit cold. Um, out here, it's probably at least 16, 17 degrees, so it is wrong. Um, you'll see that RPMs just went up a little bit then. I'll turn the air con off. See, it dropped. So once the engine warms up, you'll see the difference more. I'll press auto again. See, it went up. Okay, so there's your reasons. Off again. So the reasons why your engine revs high. The engine's cold. The air con compressor's cutting in and out. We've got this button press. Let's press it again. There it is. It's still working. Right? Outside air temp's really about 17. You know, it's not 12. But point is, somebody said once it's over 5 degrees, it doesn't work. Incorrect. I just want to let everyone know the correct information. Thanks for watching. See ya. For those wondering, it's a 1KD FTV 2013 Prado. It's been running for about 5 minutes, still with the revs up. I haven't got the scan tool plugged in at this stage, so I don't know the uh, actual coolant temperature, but you can see from the gauge it's getting up there. I'd guess at this amount of time, it's probably around 70. Okay, it's just dropped. So approximately 10 minutes, that's where the temperature gauge is sitting. And it's just dropped, you can see the button's on. So once the coolant temperature gets to probably 70 or 80 degrees, I'd say, that's where it stops because it doesn't do anything. So let's turn that off. And now we can demonstrate better the normal idle speed, which shows you is 700, as I already said, and I've said in many videos, it's worth watching them. Subscribe, turn the bell on, and get yourself educated. I'll hit the auto button for the aircon. You'll see the idle up now more because the uh, engine's no longer in warm-up cycle. See, it's gone up to about 850. We can have a look on the scan tool soon because we're getting that fired up now. You know, it's taken me probably two or three minutes to fire up the scan tool and get it operating you see coolant temps at 76 degrees right, and that's what I said to you I believe that the idle up actually stops working at about 70 degrees that's I don't take a lot of notice I don't use it but that's what I've noticed over the years so when someone said oh it doesn't work when the temperatures over five degrees incorrect this is still showing 12 because it's probably covered in cold water i've checked the thermometer in the workshop it's about 16 in there probably a bit cooler than out here but it is a cool day definitely around 16 to 18 degrees but uh that's your info for you now let's have while we're at it let's have a look at the injector reading so we haven't done this for a fair while and some people need to have a look and see what's what as I said, the target idle and the engine speed will be 700 RPM at the top there. The load reading is hovering around the 14 mark, which means it's dropped from what it norm, what normal is. When I give the engine a bit of a rev, there is some puffs of black smoke. 
not really bad, but it's showing there's a bit of wear on the nozzle needle of the injectors. They are about 10 years old on this vehicle. Okay, everything else is looking good. And if you're gonna check your map reading, use a proper scan tool like this because a lot of the aftermarket ones, most of them actually give you the wrong reading. So people having a panic attack about that. You can't really rely on the boost reading on those aftermarket ones unless it looks to be about right. Okay, coolant will keep coming up. Let's just have a quick look at the injector feedback values because there's nothing else we're actually going to be able to see here on this one. It's going to, th these aren't even going to tell us everything, you know. Don't be misled and think, oh yeah, you know, everything's okay because, you know, that's what it looks like, right? Let's just have a look. Injection volume, fully normal, around 7.8 on a 150 Prado. Auto we're looking at here, right? See the feedback value? It's bloody awesome. These injectors certainly aren't bad. I'd probably be reluctant to waste the money changing them at this stage, to be quite honest, which is what I like to do. I'm always quite honest. That's as honest as I can be. I mean, it's just easy. Then you don't have to remember the rubbish. Stick to the truth. Everybody should do that. Um, timing, all good. So look, there's nothing to see here. That's your idle up button information. That's a bit of diagnostics. If you want more diagnostics, there's a playlist. It's called Injected Diagnostics. Catch you on the next video. See ya.